Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello to everyone. Hope you guys are doing extremely well. So I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is it's summer. <laughs> it's June 21st. So is it? I'm telling you it's summer and I'm like, well, it's June 22nd. Officially, summer has started. The bad news is that they just hiked up your rent one more time once again. So, like in all my videos, I tend to give you information as they come along. And there's been a ton of of stuff that came along in the past couple of days. So let's get into it. First off, let me, I haven't streamed in StreamYard in such a long time, but let me share my screen. I will show you what, let's see. Um, wait, whoop, let me control my car. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Share screen, yes. Here we go. Uh, rent guidelines. All right, so let me make this a little bit bigger. According to Cranes New York Business, because they tend to give me a lot of information right at my fingertips, I get these emails maybe three or four times a day. And they usually come in the mornings. So I'm excited to talk about this, but I'm not excited to report this. Rent Guidelines Board approves 3% rate hike for one-year leases. So let's see what they have to say. This was released yesterday. So members of the Rent Guidelines Board, the city panel that determines prices for rent-stabilized apartments, voted Wednesday to approve a 3% rent increase for one-year leases signed after October 1st. The new rule also states that landlords of the city's 1 million rent-stabilized apartments can increase rents on two-year leases by 2.75%. In the first year and 3.2 by the of, of the amount charged in the first year, excluding any other increases. So the proposal cleared the nine member rent guidelines board by a five to four margin and comes two months after the board suggested that landlords might be allowed to increase rents by as much as 16% for two-year leases and 8% for one-year leases to cover operating costs. My God. All right. I think that's the end of, oh, no, it's not. However, when the board adjusted its proposed rent changes following a public meeting in early May, it said ranges from 2% 2, 2 to 5% for one-year leases and from 4 to 7 for two-year leases. The vote was held at the Assembly Hall at Hunter College. So let's talk about it. What do you guys think about that? They were already planning to increase your rents, whether you liked it or not, whether you are dealing with inflation or not, whether you're getting a raise or not. What does that mean for you? You're going to keep moving, move from one apartment to the next. You're going to stay in your current apartment, move to another state altogether. It's not really inspiring too much confidence, is it? Not really. <clears throat> now, currently, by law, you can increase your rents if, for rates, rent stabilized building anywhere from 1% to 3%. Now, they're considering changing it to 3%. 
on a one-year lease. What does that mean for you? You're going to end up paying close to maybe 50 to 150, sometimes $200 above your current rate. Now, I don't know about you, but it's costly to keep moving from apartment to apartment. It is costly to live in the city. So you got, you got some options. Find another job, find a, find a side hustle, lower your expenses. So it means maybe you might want to consider living with people, living with roommates. Not a bad option, but not a very attractive one. Or you can simply move out of state and say, deuces, peace out. There are other places in America that's more, less expensive. You've got a better quality of life. And, well, sun's always shining in other places. It's not much warmer. You don't have to deal with the weather. However, if you're a New Yorker like me, even though they have the rate hikes, I just find ways to make more money. Just find ways to make more money. It's easier said than done, but it's not impossible. One of the things that I've learned recently is the city has so many programs to help residents, non-residents, even immigrants to not only find jobs, but actually give out like free monies. For example, for, filling, for doing research, filling out surveys, questionnaires, or um, we'll scratch that out. <laughs> for those who are thinking, well, I'll just have a retail job and make the bare minimum. I'll let the housing voucher take care of me. Well, that's going to be for another video, but it's not easy to get a housing voucher. It's not easy. It's not even easy to get the housing lottery as well. But when you do, hold on to it. I've made a number of videos about this where you can apply apply, apply one week at a time, two weeks at a time. Every day you keep checking, you keep applying for units that you may qualify for and they will get back to you or not. Depends on your log number. Everything is just a gamble. So <clears throat> things are happening pretty quickly. As of October 1st, you're going to have that rate hike. And then student loans are resuming payments in August. That moratorium, the forbearance slash deferment period is over. The honeymoon is over. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We need options. And like I said, the biggest one, either move out from where you currently are if it's too if it's too pricey, or find ways to earn more income. And you know, <clears throat> if you do the latter, find ways to earn more income, whether it's side hustle, starting a small business, et cetera, et cetera. That'll actually lead you into more opportunities. If you take a risk, take the chance, do a little Uber Eats on the side, right? Or DoorDash or Instacart. I have friends, I have friends that do all of it. Lyft, Uber, they drive on the side. Some of them drive Amazon. That's what I used to do. Um, I still do my real estate. That hasn't changed. So there are options for you. Um, 
I don't know. This is not a, this is really not a happy video. This is just going to be one of those videos where it's like, damn, if you do, damn, if you don't, they're going to increase rents on new leases starting October 1st, 2023. How are we going to escape this? We just can't. Unanimous decision five to four. They say it's good for the economy when you increase the, the rates, but at a time where everything is extremely sensitive, it, this is not a good look. And I also think that MTA is going to have their rate hike as well. But, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really sucks. It really, really, really does suck. Um, dog walking too. I almost forgot about dog walking. Dog walking is actually a very lucrative side hustle. People love their dogs in the, in the city. They really do. Or babysitting. I have a friend right now. She's babysitting. Um, taking care of the elderly. That's an also, that's an also a side option as well. If you have some time in between your jobs, I know, <clears throat> I know at a time where you need to work less and take care of yourself, you're working more. But for those of you who watch my channel, I don't know what level of life you are at, but if you are like anybody else or like the average person in New York where it's just like, I'm just getting by. I have, an, I have a place to stay. I have a roof over my head and I got a decent job. I'm not really getting much of a raise, but I have a decent job and I could live. That's how we survive. We're New Yorkers. We're very resilient people. Whenever they hit us with a challenge, we hit them right back. Sometimes we sucker punch them in the jaw. So, <laughs> so this is no different. Um, I'll continue to watch the rent guidelines board a lot closely between now and October to see if there are any other changes that they decide, the legislature decides to implement. I don't think so. I think this is pretty much set. They're going to do this October 1st, and um, it's it's similar to the other rate hike they had. The last rate hike they had was in 2021. It was between 1% to 3%. Now they're doing 3%. So it's only getting higher and higher. So it's requiring it. As they are increasing the rents higher and higher, This it's requiring you to show up or to challenge yourself to earn more money. That's really the name of the game. I would like to, I want to predict that in the next 10 to 15 years, New York is going to be a place where the only the rich live, the rich or upper, upper middle class. And then you'll see sprinkles of, you know, uh, homeless people here and there, but I, I feel like it's just going to be this utopia of rich people here. Or I think, I think it's just going to be a utopia of rich people that live in the state and you won't be able to afford just the basic necessities anymore. I don't know how realistic, but we shall see. The COVID deals are done, my friends. No more COVID deals. You'll still get the month free, two months free, but then at the end of the one year lease or two year lease, they're gonna hike it right back up to market rate. So that's it for this video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.